What's up, YouTube? It's Noel Brown, back at you with another haircut. Just kidding. Um, you guys may know me as Noel Brown or PC Basics. Depends how long I've been here. I got a new PC to open here. Um, I kind of treated myself for Christmas this year, and it's kind of way too much on this bad boy, so let's get into it. Nutel inside. Yes, AMD may have better price for, for like for prefer. <laughs> okay, Intel. Sorry, can't see. Intel may have better pricing. I mean, AMD may have better pricing for per performance. But I know Intel very well. I've always used Intel. Never had an AMD product. And I wouldn't say it'd be risky to switch. It's really not. It's actually probably better. But I'm not switching. I like Intel. I'm usually loyal to the brands. So let's unbox this PC and uh, see how it goes. Just gonna carefully flip this over. Flat shut. Everything's still in frame? Yeah, okay. So this is the box. Uh, I bought this from Amazon, so it's a basic box, says HP. Uh, Windows 10, obviously no one sells Windows 7 anymore, but you can still, if you like Windows 7, switch to it. The USB. Had to grab my trusty X-Acto blade. For X-Acto knife. Little piece of tape right here. Cut. And carefully do this. And right here. Never cut torn yourself like I'm doing. Just kind of in a hurry. To get this video done. I don't know how much storage I have on my phone. So that's that. And then this just should work right now. Yep. That's a flap. Okay. Put this knife put it right there. Don't want to sit on it or anything. Oh wow, what is this? Came with a case or something. Okay, that's all that was in the box. Okay, we're gonna pause it. Alright. So this is the the box the computer comes in. She's got foam on it. And as you can see, and probably know by the title of the video, I don't know if I'll call it this, but I bought the HP Spectre 15 for the HP Spectre 360 15 inch. And there's some tape. Pretty good, except for their uh, HP, whatever their Unix thing is. That's garbage. Okay, so here's the box right there. I don't know if you can see me, but the Spectre. Uh, there's gold on the back because this laptop is black and gold. Oh, and it says HP right here, kind of reflective. Hopefully, you can see that. I don't know if this is too close or what, but there's that. And now we're gonna pick this up. Alright guys, so Spectre. Let's uh quick figure out how I'm gonna lift this off. Hopefully you guys are fine with me lifting it with my hand and my foot. <laughs> there it goes. Get a little pamphlet thing. 
Okay, it doesn't say anything important. Set up instructions, we don't need those. Who, whoever uses that. Okay, ooh, they got a little pull tab. Ooh. Wow, it's heavier than I thought, but by no means, wow. This is not heavy at all. Wow, okay. Oh my God, it looks so good. Okay, before I get out of the computer, let's look inside the box. Uh, they got some configurations, stuff like that. We don't need that either. In here, we have the charging brake and the input output cable the wall oh it comes with a little pencil stylus touchscreen thing because this is a touchscreen laptop um that's all in there and more instructions which we're not going to look at and i think that's everything so i flipped the laptop over it's on this little uh although it still has a protective sleeve on it it's got this little cover thing I think it's just a sleeve for the laptop, and because everyone likes to see this. Ooh. Ooh. That's nice. That feels good. We're just going to rip this apart. Instead of peeling it off the nice way, because it rips really easily. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. We're gonna oh my gosh, it feels so nice. I tried this laptop in Best Buy a few times, but I was mostly messing with the 13 inch one. Um, let me set this down. Wow, that looks good. I'm sorry for the grainy quality. Let me turn the lamp on so it doesn't look too bad. Guys, we're back. Uh, I just had to flip the light on. This thing feels amazing. It's got a matte finish to it. It's got gold. Let's look at the ports real quick. We have USB-A. USB-C, which is Thunderbolt 3 as well. We got the charging cable right, or the charging port right there. Come on, focus. Charging port right there. Um, I'm trying to be careful here. Doing this one-handed with my phone, so nothing really I can do right there. Set a specter, if you can see it. Yeah, there you go. Uh, don't, yep, it doesn't say anything there. Ooh. I'm <laughs> being very careful with it. Okay, here, power button. Focus. Power button. Uh, that's the. What is that? Power plug. Duh. Oh my gosh. It's thinking it's charging through USB C. Um, so it's got the power button, power port, HDMI, and believe it or not, 2019 still has a headphone jack. There's got the exhaust vents, and there's some on the bottom too. All right. Let's open her up. I'm trying to open this. Oh, wow. Ooh, okay. Well, this was supposed to be on the screen. It's fine. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, it's got NVIDIA graphics. I thought it was Intel integrated Iris Plus graphics. Anyway, 10th Gen i7. Wow, that must be cold. No, the computer's cold. Okay. Spectre right there. Windows machine. Oh, it's got some nice speakers. Oh, and uh, I can't do it right now. Hi, me. Hi, guys. Um, it's got a 360 degree hinge, so like this can flip all the way down and stuff. All right, uh, first boot. Let's go. I can find the switch. Yeah, it's right on the side. Ooh. Wow. Holy cow, it actually has juice. HP. It's loading up clear some of the sound of the way and make this look kind of nice. Let me back up. Wow. And this is going to be my personal laptop. I'm using this for school. I'm updating, or not updating, I'm, uh, hold on, I'll tell you in a minute.
a little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your... Yeah, we don't care. Um, so, I'll be right back. I'm back, and I'm just gonna set this up. Just wanted to let you guys know, this is my personal laptop, I paid for this myself. I'm upgrading from this base model 2013 MacBook Pro to late 2013 model. It's a 13 inch. Um, it works fine, but it's only got 4 gigs of RAM, a dual core i5, I don't know exactly what one. But um, I'll, I'll show you. Look, there's some bleeding on the screen from a, the laptop getting crushed in my backpack. It's got a line there, some keyboard marks there. That's from this and these keys. Um, yeah, I'll show you the processor in a second. I use this uh, laptop since 2014 when I got it. That's my class schedule. Don't want to show you that. Okay, so the processor. It's an i5 4258U CPU, 2.40 gigahertz, 4 gigs of RAM. And yes, I'm running Windows on a Mac, cursed image. I do this because I'm going into the IT program and, well, I'm in the IT program and I needed uh, Windows for it. So, there's that. States here. Hope I'm not shaking too much. Yeah, I don't need another. I know. Connect your network. Okay. I'm gonna connect to my network, so I'm not letting you guys look. Okay, right, so I just signed into my network. Uh, yep. Yeah, Setting up. I just gotta say, when I was even just typing in the, the uh, password for my network, this keyboard feels amazing and uh, we'll have further testing down the road obviously as I use it but just from the first initial clicks it felt good like spot on HP I believe this new uh, ooh, Windows 10 license agreement okay I believe this new uh, touchpad uses Windows precision drivers when the old one used uh, HP, whatever their drivers were called, they were shit. Um, but these ones are good. Alright, I'm gonna sign into my account and I'll be back. So I just uh, signed in with my Microsoft account and it's setting up my face right now. It has Windows Hello, which I was happy about. I've never had a computer that could do that. Hold on, let me type in my. Uh, and Probably should be before about throwing that out. Okay. Yep. All right. Just put in my pen. I mean, I haven't even gotten into Windows yet. But my goodness, this computer is so much faster than this one. Uh. Sure. I don't want to use OneDrive unless I absolutely need to. Nope, I already have that through Davenport the school I go to. Sure. Yeah, I don't care. That's fine. I, I mean, privacy and everything is very important, but you know, is Microsoft? That, yeah, they'll collect data on you, but who doesn't? It's so hard to avoid it. Like. Sometimes you just gotta accept it. And that's gonna sound like a, wait, HP, register with HP, okay. That's gonna sound like a very, uh, it's also gonna register all this stuff. That's fine. Um, I mean, securing your data nowadays, it's not really possible. If someone wants your data, they are gonna get it at any means necessary. And it doesn't matter to them that they're going to end up in jail because they're going to know how to hide it if they know how to steal that information. And, wow. Here we go. Wow. Right in the windows, too. This is the fastest setup I've done on any computer I've ever had. Yet again, I've never had an Intel Core i7. I know there's better processors out there. They got Xeons and freaking i9s and all that, but, you know, 
for for a laptop with an OLED screen, 4K OLED. That's this nice. Like this is nice build quality, and it's like, um, you know, it's hard to get a laptop that's like thin. Which I mean, I'm not gonna be gaming on this. This is not a gaming PC for me. That wasn't my intention when buying it. My intention is to do schoolwork, run virtual machines, make YouTube videos. Like, that's the main point. I don't need the highest end computer. I don't need a thick gaming computer that's like this big, okay? This is perfect for me. This is all I need. And I know everyone's gonna be like, oh, you could have gotten a laptop that's cheaper and a lot more powerful and upgradable and all that, but you know, guys. I don't need that. I'm I'm not a gamer. I'm not. This will last me years. I won't. This one, the only reason. I mean, I used this for six years. So, or five, I guess. Well, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, five years. All right. But it, it's been it's it's been out for six years, and that thing, it worked well. But I felt it was time to upgrade. And oh my gosh, the screen. I can't even show you, but look. Like, the pixels are, like, amazing. Oh, my goodness. I'm I'm impressed, HP. Good job. Good job. So, I think we're going to open up a YouTube video real quick and test the sound. Okay. I'm going to install Chrome, as I always do. So people like it, people hate it. It uses a lot of RAM and power, yeah, but it syncs all my stuff. I don't want to want. I don't want to use Edge, okay? So not not my preference. Yeah, I can use Firefox or whatever else, but copy right. Oh, oops. right free. Yeah. Oh, it is copyright. No, hmm. I'm dumb. No copyright music. No copyright. <laughs> wow, this display. How brightening it. Holy cow. That's nice. Oops. Oh my god, this thing sounds good. I mean, just listen to this. Wow, that is incredible. It's not only loud, but... Wow, the bass. Well, that is incredible. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I'll let you know if this laptop is worth getting or not as I use it more. Uh, I just appreciate you guys watching the video, and uh, I'll see you later. Peace.